Hi and welcome to 6 Minute Math. Sa video na ito, pag-aaralan natin kung paano bang mag-evaluate ng piecewise functions. Ano nga bang piecewise function? A piecewise function is a function in which more than one formula is used to define the output. So, ibig sabihin, function pa rin siya, pero nahahati lang siya by parts into different formula depende sa domain natin. So, f of x is equal now to formula number 1 if x is in domain number 1. Formula number 2 if x is in domain number 2. Formula number 3 if x is in domain number 3. So, let's have an example. If f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 1 and 3x plus 1 if x is greater than 1, find f of 3 and f of negative 4. Ang tatandaan mo lang dito sa evaluating function ay dapat alam mo kung paano basahin yung domain ng function. So, ibig sabihin, kapag daw yung value ng x natin is less than or equal to 1, ang gagamitin nating formula is si 2x minus 1. Kapag naman ang value ng x natin is greater than 1, ang gagamitin nating formula is 3x plus 1. Now, let's try to solve for f of 3. Since c3 is a number greater than 1, we will use the second formula. f of 3 now is equal to 3 times 3 plus 1. Simplifying this, we now have f of 3 is equal to 9 plus 1 and 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Therefore, f of 3 is equal to 10. Next, we have f of negative 4. Since a negative 4 is a number less than 1, we will use the first formula. f of negative 4 now is equal to 2 times negative 4 plus 1 and then 2 times negative 4, the answer is negative 8 and negative 8 plus 1, the answer is negative 7. For example number 2, find f of 2, f of negative 3, f of negative 1, and then f of 1. Bago natin isolve, Isulat muna natin into interval notation yung values ng domain. So, for 15x minus 12, gagamitin lang daw natin siya kapag yung value ng x natin is greater than or equal to negative 4 but less than negative 2. So, pag sinulat natin siya into interval notation, we can write it as negative 4 comma negative 2. Negative 4, gamitin natin siya ng bracket since included si negative 4. And then, negative 2 naman, gamitan natin siya ng parenthesis since negative 2 is not included. Next, if the value of x is greater than or equal to negative 2 but less than 0, ang gagamitin natin si x squared minus 5. Isulat natin siya into interval notation. Negative 2 comma 0. Negative 2, gamitan ng bracket since included si negative 2. And then, 0 parenthesis since 0 is not included. Sunod naman, 0, comma, positive 2. 0 is included but positive 2 is not. Next naman, 2, comma, positive 4. 2 is included but 4 is not included. So for f of 2, hanapin natin kung saan interval makakapasok si 2. Since positive 2 belongs to the fourth interval, ang gagamitin natin ay 4 over x. f of 2 now is equal to 4 over 2. Simplifying 4 over 2, f of 2 is equal to positive 2. Next is we have f of negative 3. Si f of negative 3, papasok siya sa ang interval. Papasok siya sa interval ni negative 4 to negative 2. Since sa pasok siya sa interval ni negative 4 to negative 2, ang gagamitin natin ay si 15x minus 2. f of negative 3 now is equal to 15 times negative 3 minus 2. And then simplifying this, 15 times negative 3, we have negative 45. And negative 45 minus 2, the answer is negative 47. 
for f of negative 1, since si negative 1 ay papasok sa interval number 2, which is from negative 2 to 0, ang gagamitin natin ay si x squared minus 5. f of negative 1 now is equal to negative 1 squared minus 5. Negative 1 squared, the answer is 1. And 1 minus 5, the answer is negative 4. And then for f of 1, the interval that we are going to use is from 0 to 2. Kung 0 to 2 yung gagamitin nating interval, therefore the answer is 20. f of 1 now is equal to 20.